Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Doing good, thank you. Happy okay, to be here tonight. Let's begin. Comencemos entonces. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, everybody, I'm going to take, I'm going to call the attendance list. When you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Lenilson Rivera Ramírez. Present teacher, I am here. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Good evening teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Happy Edith... day of teacher. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Present teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Ever Taristi de Soya Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Presente. Thank you. José Amil Reyes Cruz. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Presente, teacher. Thank you. José Valentín Rivera López. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Thank you. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Presente, teacher. Thank you. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Same. Well, same. Okay. Thank you. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher. Good Happy evening. Day. Thank you. <laughs> Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Thank you. Monica Ivette Merino Rivas. Monica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Teacher, eh, eh, Susana, Oscar Castellano, eh, está trabajando, posiblemente se conecte ahí Eduardo donde está, tal vez haya señal vía teléfono. Ok, vamos a esperar entonces. Gracias. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. 
Ok. Cecia, ya está por acá. Ok. Arles Ernesto López. María de Lourdes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Present. Ok, thank you. Um, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Eber Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Teacher. José, dígame. Franklin de la O. Estoy platicando eh, hace dos días con él y me dice que tiene problemas porque no le ha llegado el INS para poderse conectar. De verdad. Sí, eso es lo que me dijo. Yo le pregunté por qué no había conectado. Ajá. Que no, el, el problema es que no, no le funciona el enlace o, o que no es, lo tiene porque... Es el problema de enlace. Del enlace. Sí. Vaya, tiene cómo comunicarse con él. Sí. Déjeme ver. Porque existe también un... Ya le digo. Si quiere le pongo vía chat. Ahorita y el número de él. Eh, no, solamente quiero ver, porque existe también un, un ID. Pero creo, aquí está, ve. En caso que el enlace no funcione, también ustedes pueden utilizar el ID de la reunión, que es el que les voy a proporcionar acá en el chat a todos. Si se lo pueden pasar, sería excelente. Y les va a pedir una contraseña. Bueno, se lo voy a poner aquí. Este es el ID de la reunión. Y este sería la contraseña. En caso que el enlace no funcione, pueden ingresar directamente el ID de la reunión cuando entran a Zoom. Es decir, entran al programa Zoom de una sola vez sin meterse al, al enlace y ahí les va a aparecer unirse a una reunión. Le dan ustedes unirse a una reunión y ahí les va a pedir el Meeting ID, que es el que les acabo de compartir. Y una vez hayan ingresado el Meeting ID, les va a pedir una contraseña también. Y la contraseña es esta. En caso que alguien tenga algún problema para conectarse por medio del enlace. Bueno, gracias, teacher. De igual manera, yo no estoy en el grupo de chat ahí. Como ayer me sacaron y no me he podido meter. Mm, bueno, entonces lo vamos a compartir por ahí también. Gracias, Tiche. Permítame. Vamos acá entonces. Permítame, voy a escribir la indicación. Um, Ahí están las instrucciones, ya en WhatsApp. Ok. Um, continuamos por acá. Control asistencia. Eh. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Levanta la mano acá. 
Dígame. Sí, no ando, no ando lente y voy manejando, así que ahora lo voy a escuchar porque no veo la letra. Bueno, está bien, está bien. Cuidado, cuidado ahí. Ok, Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Ya está por acá, nos dice. Presente, presente, teacher, presente. Thank you. Mónica Ivette Merino. Mónica Ivette Merino. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Estamos aquí, ven aquí. Ok, aquí veo que ya está presente. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. José Amílcar dice que ya está conectado. Aquí le ponemos su asistencia. Ok, Santos Mauricio. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Okay, pasamos a asistencia al final nuevamente. Everybody, welcome. This is English Principiante Módulo 3, and this is me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number four, and today is June 22nd of 2023. Let's begin. Tenemos que cubrir bastante tema ahora, pero por suerte son temas fáciles. Lesson objective, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing parts of the body. Okay, just some vocabulary. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes aprenderán eh, vocabulario para discutir sobre las partes del cuerpo. ¿Y cuáles son esas partes? Veámoslo acá. Ok, un poco de vocabulario. Probablemente ya estén familiarizados con algunas de estas palabras o todas en algunos casos. Veamos aquí. First, we have the head, la cabeza. Ok, this is the head. Second, we have the eye. Ok, the eye. Then, the ear. Ok, you can see it here, the ear, la oreja o el oído. Then the nose, okay? This is the nose, right here. Then you have the mouth, okay? La boca, that's the mouth. Then you have a tooth or teeth. Tooth is singular. You can say one tooth. And then you have teeth, that's plural. You say two teeth, three teeth, four teeth, five teeth, all teeth etc. So remember, tooth is singular, teeth is plural. Then we have the chin. What's the chin? This is the chin. This is the chin. Okay. On the left, we have the back. Okay, la espalda. That's the back. There's also the shoulder. Okay, shoulder. Esto es como el shampoo, ¿verdad? Que se llama head and shoulders. Cabeza y hombros. Head and shoulders. Then you have the chest. What's the chest? This is the chest. This part of your body is the chest. And then there is the stomach. Careful with the pronunciation. It's not stomach. No. The pronunciation is stomach. So be careful with that. Arles Ernesto ya está conectado. Thank you, Arles. Next, you have the hand. And in the hand, you have, well, this is the hand, okay? La mano. And in the hand, you have the thumb. This is the thumb, el pulgar, thumb. And then the rest are the fingers. Fingers, los dedos de la mano. Now, over here, we have the throat. What's the throat? The throat is this part of your body, right here. This is the throat. And what's the neck? The neck is this part of your body right here. Okay, that's the neck. So remember, throat, neck. No se mira la mano. Okay, but here, here's the neck. Okay, throat, y atrás, neck. So right here, you have the wrist. What's the wrist? This is your wrist, look. This part, this is your wrist, la muñeca, okay? That's your wrist. Then there's the arm, okay? El brazo, the arm. And we have the elbow. What's the elbow? This is the elbow, right here. El codo, that's the elbow. Next, we have the leg, la pierna, okay? This is the knee, 
What's the meaning of knee? La rodilla. And then we have the ankle. El tobillo. That's the ankle. Cuidado con la pronunciación. Una palabra es ankle, the other is uncle, que es tío, ¿verdad? Pero no es lo mismo tío que tobillo. ¿Ok? Tío is uncle, uncle. Tobillo is ankle, ankle. It's different. The pronunciation is different. The spelling is different. ¿Ok? Then you have this, the foot. What's the meaning of foot? El pie. What's, but that's singular foot. In plural, you say feet. Okay? That's the plural form. Feet. No la vayan a poner ese, ¿verdad? Porque no la lleva. The singular form is foot, one foot. And you talk about the two, you say feet. My feet. And finally, you have the toes. What are the toes? Los dedos de los pies. Okay? Those are the toes. And that's the vocabulary. So for pronunciation, I want you to listen and repeat. Head, head, eye, eye, ear, ear, nose, nose, mouth, mouth, tooth, tooth, that's singular, the plural, teeth, Teeth, chin, chin, back, back, shoulder, shoulder, chest, chest, stomach, stomach, throat, throat, neck, neck. Wrist, wrist, arm, arm, elbow, elbow, it's the elbow, remember. Thumb, thumb, hand, hand, fingers, fingers, leg. Leg, knee, knee, ankle, ankle, foot, foot, feet, feet, toes, toes. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Cecia. Es que está lloviendo fuerte y la verdad casi no escuché, pero. Oh. He perdido mis audífonos. Híjole. Um, ¿Alguna palabra que necesite repetición? Esta del stomach. <laughs> ok, es stomach. Stomach. Mm -hmm. It's a stomach. Voy a decir Enrique Pérez. Teacher, eh, en la parte de donde está el, el ojo uh -huh. y el, el cabello, eh, la ceja faltó y la pestaña. Ok. Let me... Ok, this is not here, but I can tell you. ¿Me dijo qué palabras? Cabello is hair. Cejas. Eyebrow. Okay. Pestaña. Eyelash. Plural eyelashes. Otra que me dijo, Enrique. Solamente esas eran, teacher. Okay. Y la similitud de para dientes y dientes, igual que con abajo, para decir este. Eh, piezas que hay una similitud ahí con porque pie pie fe, y, no perdón fu y piezas fe 
feet. Igual, ajá, igual con los dientes. Tú. Tooth teeth. and teeth. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. teeth. That's the teacher. Ok, you're welcome. Si se le dificulta pronunciar tooth and teeth, acuérdense que el sonido final es como los españoles pronuncian la Z, ¿verdad? Dice así. <laughs> Ese sonido es el, es el de TH, al final de tooth y teeth. Ok. Tooth and teeth. Uh, Adán Iglesias. Los dedos de los pies, pero se van el mismo. Toe. Se pronuncia lo mismo. Toe. Mm, sería toe o toes. En caso que solo sea uno, toe. Plural, toes. Mm -hmm. eh, ok, ok, gracias. Mm -hmm. Good. Ok. Um, Ebert. Una consulta, teacher, y en el caso de las partes femeninas. Ah, ¿cuáles partes? Como estamos con un masculino, entonces en el caso de las femeninas cambia. El, hay algunas partes que cambian, o sea, ¿la mantendrían los mismos para ambos sexos? Se mantienen los mismos, simplemente, bueno. Eh, <risa> no hemos visto, digamos, partes exclusivas sí, para hombres en este caso. ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero creo que se refiere a esto, ¿verdad? Chest. Yes, yes. Ajá, vaya. Eso es el pecho. Chest, para hombres y mujeres. Ahora, si quiere hablar de los pechos, ¿verdad? Femeninos de una mujer, eso se conocen como breast. Plural, breasts. Breasts. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero la palabra chest se mantiene tanto para hombre como para mujer. Es decir, esta área de acá, ese es el chest. Uh -huh. Gracias, Adicional, <ríe> ya están los otros, breasts. Ok, Ever Enrique. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. El plural de muchas partes del cuerpo, como cabeza, para decir cabezas. Heads. Hex, mm, igual solo. que ears, mm -hmm. nose. Mm -hmm. uh, ok. Mm -hmm. Así no. es. De hecho, sí, esos serían los plurales. Los únicos plurales irregulares ya están marcados acá. Por ejemplo, el plural de head es heads, con una S. Eye, eyes. Ear, ears. Nose. Bueno, solo tenemos una, ¿verdad? Pero <ríe> si se refiriera a la nariz de varias personas, sería nose. Creo yo. Nunca lo he visto en plural, honestamente. Ok, mouth. Solo tenemos una, así que se ocupa en singular. Chin, también solo una. En el caso de hand, el plural es hands, con S, ¿verdad? Aparece finger, el plural fingers, ¿verdad? Uh, thumb, el plural es thumbs también, ¿ok? Tenemos chest and stomach, we only have one. Back, we only have one. Shoulder, we have two. So we say shoulders with an S. Throat and neck, we only have one. Wrist, you, you can say the plural form, wrists with an S. Arm, also arms, with an S. Elbow, also elbows, with an S. Leg, also in plural, legs. Okay, knee, knees, with an S. Ankle, ankles, ¿verdad? Tenemos toe, el plural es toes. Y aquí sí, foot, only one, plural, feet. Así que sí, si es en plural, solo agrégale una S a todas estas palabras. No hay casos eh, que cambien o especiales, salvo los que ya dijimos, para que sería tooth and teeth, um, food and feet. Okay. Um, no more questions? Okay. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to have how to use have plus a noun plus feel plus an adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Conversation. I feel homesick. What is the meaning of homesick? Okay. Homesick means feeling sad because you are away from home. That's the meaning of homesick. When you go to another country for 15 days, you can feel homesick. You miss your home. 
you miss your country, you miss your, your, your neighborhood, you miss your family. So that's the meaning of homesick, feeling sad because you are away from home. Cuando usted está triste o se siente mal porque está lejos de su hogar. It's to be homesick. So I feel homesick. Listen and practice, okay, uh, por el tiempo, lo voy a leer acá. Brian says, hey, Kenichi, how are you? And Kenichi says, oh, I'm not so good, actually. Brian says, why? What's the matter? Okay, the expression, what's the matter? Means, say, ¿Qué pasa? Oh. ¿Cuál es el problema? ¿Cuál es el problema? Por supuesto, no retando a la otra persona, sino más bien preguntándole qué es lo que está mal, ¿verdad? Ahora, si usted quiere retar a la otra persona, entonces ya, cuidado, ¿verdad? se dice algo como, what's your problem? Ok. Y ahí sí lo está retando. ¿Qué, qué te pasa vos? ¿Cuál es tu problema? Ok, cuidado, no le vayan a decir eso, what's your problem a alguien, porque lo van a tomar como una amenaza. ¿verdad? Pero decir, what's the matter, es como, ¿qué, qué sucede? ¿verdad? ¿Qué, qué, qué, te, ¿Qué te entristece? ¿Qué te preocupa? ¿Qué te acongoja? Etcétera, etcétera. So, what's the matter? So, uh, Kenichi says, well, I have a headache. Okay, I have a headache. And a backache. Okay, tengo un dolor de cabeza y dolor de espalda. Brian says, maybe you have the flu. Tal vez tengas la gripe. Maybe you have the flu. Erika Beatriz nos dice que ya está por acá. Thank you, Erika. So maybe you have the flu. Kenichi says, no. I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. Creo que simplemente extraño Japón. Brian says, that's too bad. But maybe I can help. Tal vez yo te pueda ayudar. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Hey, Kenichi says, that's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. <laughs> ya me siento mejor. Okay, so um, that's the conversation. She says, I feel homesick. And right now, I want you to take a look at this. Have plus noun, feel plus adjective. You say, what's the matter? Or what's wrong? Okay, you can say, I have a headache. What's the meaning of headache? Dolor de cabeza. Say, I have a headache. Cuidado con la pronunciación porque no se dice headache. Ninguno de estos que termina en ache, ache, se pronuncia h. Nada que ver, se pronuncia ache, ache. I have a headache, headache, dolor de cabeza. You can say, I have a backache. I have a backache. Tengo dolor de espalda. You can say, I have the flu. Tengo la gripe o tengo gripe. Chat entry, Mónica Yvette Merino dice que ya está por acá. Bienvenida. Now you can ask, how are you? And how do you feel? ¿Cómo te sientes? You can say, I feel homesick. ¿Verdad? I feel better. Me siento mejor. Or you can say, I don't feel well. No me siento bien. Okay. Now, you can use adjectives with feel. Cuando ustedes ocupan el verbo feel en su forma afirmativa o negativa, pueden complementarlo con un adjetivo. You have negative adjectives, for example, sick, enfermo o enferma. Como es adjetivo, es enfermos o enfermas también. I feel awful. I feel awful. Me siento horrible. Super mal. Fatal. I feel awful. I feel terrible. Me siento terrible. Okay. I feel miserable. I feel miserable. What is the meaning of miserable? Miserable means sad. Triste, ¿verdad? Muy triste. I feel miserable. Now you have positive adjectives. Positive adjectives include fine. You say, I feel fine. Okay, I feel fine. I feel great. Very good. I feel great. I feel terrific. Now, what is terrific? Cuidado, no confundan terrific con terrible. No tiene nada que ver. 
Okay. Terrific. The terrific. Ter Siempre me olvido el spelling. The terrific. Terrific. Ah, uh -huh. double I. Terrific means very, very good. Okay. Terrible means very, very bad. Okay. So two different words. No las confundan. Terrific, very, very good. Terrible, very, very bad. Se parecen, ¿verdad? pero mm, los significados son opuestos. Okay, it's terrific and terrible. So you say, I feel terrific. You can say, I feel fantastic. Really good adjectives. So negative adjectives include sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives include fine, great, terrific, and fantastic. So what are we going to do here? Listen and practice. He has a backache. Now you have the vocabulary here. Que tienen el vocabulario. Fíjense bien. First word is a backache. A backache. Es un dolor de espalda. That's a backache. You can have an earache. An earache. Nunca ha habido nadie que le duela la oreja más que por andar mascarilla o los lentes. Pero bueno. Okay, an earache. Then you have a headache. A headache. Un dolor de cabeza. You can also have a stomachache. A stomachache. Dolor de estómago. Cecia. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice oído? Oído. Ear. Ear es oreja y es oído. Ah. Mm -hmm. Ambas. Ok. Es el dolor de oído también, ¿verdad? Dolor de oreja, dolor de oído. Aún el dolor de oído no es tan común, a menos que no tenga una infección. Ok, then you have a toothache. Toothache. Sería dolor de muela. Literalmente dice dolor de dientes, pero se le conoce en español como dolor de muelas. A toothache. Also, uh, Ever Enrique. Para el inglés no hay diferencia, así como el español, muela, diente, colmillo. De hecho, sí, 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 sí. Um, pero quiero ver. No estoy enteramente familiar. Incisives. Creo que los incisivos son incisives, pero no estoy seguro. No quiero dar información falsa. Los colmillos son canines. Los colmillos, can, canines. Uh, las muelas son molar, molar, creo que es. Déjame ver. Not entirely sure. Sí, molar. Son los molares. Quiero ver si está incisive. Mm, no. Let me see. Incisive teeth. Ah, oh, pues sí. Aquí está. You can say incisive teeth, que son los incisivos, right? The canines, que son los colmillos. And the molars, que son las muelas. Y tenemos finalmente esta que cae tan mal. Wisdom tooth. ¿Cuál creen que es esa? La cordal. Ajá, correcto. Ok, solo para hacer estorbo. Sí. Ok, the wisdom tooth, que es, es la muela cordal. Ok, así se le conoce, como el diente de la sabiduría. No tengo idea por qué, pero bueno. Wisdom tooth. Ok, so you have incisive teeth, canines, smaller, and wisdom tooth. Those are in general. All right, uh, next. You have you can have a cold. What's what's the meaning of cold? Do you know? What is the meaning? ¿Qué significa a cold? Ever Enrique. Resfriado. Un resfriado, ajá, un, un catarro. Eso es. No tan malo como la gripe, pero molesto de todas formas. That's a cold. Okay. You can have a cough. Okay. <laughs> right? That's a cough right there. You can have a fever, a fever, high temperature. That's a fever. You can have the flu, 
Okay, now what's the difference between a cold and the flu? When you have a cold, you have a runny nose, right? You have a stuffy nose. Okay, maybe you have a headache, but you can work. You are functional. But when you have the flu, mm -mm, no, when you have the flu, you have to be in bed, your body hurts, you have a fever, et cetera, et cetera. So that's worse. Then you have sore eyes, okay? Sore eyes, cuando uno le duelen los ojos y los tiene hinchados, okay? You have sore eyes. Sore, que duelen. And finally, you can have a sore throat. <clears> okay, <throat> un dolor de garganta. That's a sore throat. Literalmente, garganta dolorida. Sore throat. Those are the health problems, the vocabulary on health problems that we have for today. So again, we have a backache, a knee rake, a headache, a stomachache, a toothache, a cold, a cough, a fever, the flu, sore eyes, and a sore throat. That's the vocabulary. Remember, you can say, I have a backache, I have a headache, I have the flu. You can say, I have a cold, I have a cough, I have a fever, I have the flu. I have sore eyes, I have a sore throat, etc., etc. Con todas esto, estas que están acá, usted puede utilizar I have. O el negativo, I don't have. Ahora, hablando de cómo se siente, ya tiene que ocupar I feel. I feel homesick. I feel better. Me siento mejor. I don't feel well. No me siento bien. Okay. I feel sick. I feel awful. I feel terrible. I feel miserable. Or I feel fine. I feel great. I feel terrific. I feel fantastic, etc. So what are we going to do? There's knowledge check 2.4. The instructions are, listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? There may be one or two correct answers for each conversation. So this is the listening. Tiene que decirme qué es lo que le duele a cada persona. So listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Donde le duele a estas personas? Write down the parts of the body. You have to write the parts of the body. Okay, so uh, the first one is Ben, then Allison, then Jeffrey, and then Marta. Everybody, please listen. We're going to listen to the example. Here we go. Page 80. Exercise four. Can you hear that? Listening. Okay. I have a headache. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Where do these people hurt? Write down the parts of the body. One. I think I'm going to go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, Ben? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Feel better. So he said, I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Meaning, que lo que le duele? The head and the throat. Only the parts of the body. Let's listen to Allison. Two. Ow! Oh my God. Gosh, are you okay, Allison? Uh, not really. My back and my elbow feel terrible. Ouch. Can you stand up? I think so. Yeah, thanks for your help. Okay, what about Allison? Maria Magdalena. Dice que le duele la back elbow. Back, back and, and, and page 80. Oops. Exercise. Sorry. Let's see. Um, I'm going to eliminate that animation. Teacher. Yes. Back and elbow. Back and elbow. Yeah. It's the back and elbow right here. That's correct. Thank you very much. Okay. Eliminé la animación porque si no empieza a sonar el solo. Okay. Um, Adán Iglesias. Eh, 
Dice que le duele tú, tú. Pero eso no lo hemos puesto todavía, pero bueno. <laughs> okay. Number three. Let's listen to number three. Help. Okay. Three. Here, have some ice cream, Jeffrey. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, nos dijo por allá, Dan Iglesias, in the case of Jeffrey, the tooth. Okay, or teeth in plural. He says, I have a toothache. No sabemos si solo duele un diente o varios. So, yeah, tooth or teeth. Okay. And finally, Marta, number four. Let's listen. Four. Oh. What's wrong? I have really sore eyes, and my wrists are sore too. Well, take a break, Marta. Finish typing your homework later. So, what about Marta? Where, where does she hurt? Where does, where does Marta hurt? Maria Magdalena. Te ven en los ojos y uh, los in, in English, in English. Uh -huh. How do you say that? I mean, I... The eyes and? Mm. What is, what is, what is and, and, and the wrist. Okay. The, wrist. the eyes the and the wrists. Correct. The... Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Eyes and wrists hurt. Very good. Okay, that's, uh, that will be the knowledge check. Knowledge check 2.4. Okay, in the platform. Let's move on. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn the names of common medications for health problems. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán los nombres de medicamentos comunes para problemas de salud. Okay, and then you have that. There's antacid. What is antacid? Lo dice su nombre, el antiacid, no? It's the antacid. There's also muscle cream, muscle cream that you put on, okay? You put some cream and then you put it on. Oh, when it hurts, after you go to the gym, for example. That's muscle cream. Crema para los músculos, no? Then there is the aspirin, the aspirin. Then you have cup syrup. What is cup syrup? It's a kind of medicine that you take when you have a sore throat or when you have a cough, okay? You put it on a spoon, okay? And then you drink it. That's cough syrup. Es el jarabe para la tos, right? That's cough syrup. Syrup, it's a pronunciation. But if you don't want to have cough syrup, you can, you know, suck on some cough drops. What are cough drops? Caso que usted no quiera el jarabe para la tos. Tengo una de estas. Okay, like the cough drops. It's like a candy. It's like candy that you put in your mouth and you start, okay, sucking on it. ¿Verdad? Es una pastillita para la garganta. Hay que chupar la pastilla. So uh, that's the cough drop. Also, you have cold pills cold pills. When you have a cold, you take the pill. It alleviates the symptoms, but it doesn't make the cold go away. <laughs> and finally, you have eye drops. Eye drops. What happens when you have sore eyes or when your eyes are red, you put on some eye drops. Okay. Tal vez ustedes se acuerdan de unos anuncios viejitos de una gota para los ojos que se llamaban Eyemo 2. Bueno, ahí decía Eye, pero era Ay, en realidad, ¿verdad? Ay, Mo 2, era. Pero decían Eyemo 2. Y si se acuerdan de Eyemo 2, ya no están tan jóvenes. Ok, so well, that's it, eye drops. Ok, so there's antacid. Aspirin, muscle cream, cough syrup, cough drops, cold pills, and eye drops. Hay bastante vocabulario en esta sesión. Lo siento. <laughs> Espero no sobresaturarlos. 
Pero bueno, practiquemos este vocabulario. Let's practice this. We have this exercise, extra practice. Complete the sentences with the correct medications. Her eyes are very tired. She needs some eye drops. What about number two? Your cough sounds terrible. Buy some blah, 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 or some blah, blah, blah. So what do you have, Evan Enrique? Boy, some cough syrup. Or? Or, okay, that, that is correct. Or, pills. or cold pills. Mm, probably not cold pills. Yeah, cold drops. Cold uh, cough drops. Okay, cough drops. Yeah, that's it. So buy some cough syrup or some cough drops. Should be plural, by the way. Sorry about that. Cough drops. Okay, Cecia, number three. I have a headache, so I'm going to take some. The microphone. I have a headache, so I'm going to take some aspirin. Some aspirin. That's correct. I'm going to take some aspirin. Good. Okay, number four. My arm is sore. Mi brazo me duele. I'm going to put some to put on. Yeah, to put some to put some what? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Cecia. My arm is sore. I'm going to put some muscle cream on my arm. Some muscle cream. Muscle, muscle cream. Yeah, I'm going to put some muscle cream on my arm. That's correct. Thank you, Cecia. Karen Julissa. Christina has a stomachache, so I'm going to give her some. Christina has a stomach, so I'm going to give her some antiacid. Antiacid. Okay, so Christina has a stomachache, so I'm going to give her some antiacid. Good. And number six, Susie has a terrible cold. She's going to take some. What is she going to take? Raise your hand if you know, please. Cecia. Susie has a terrible cold. She's going to take some cold pills. Cold pills. That's correct. Okay. Medications. Vocabulary for medications. Very good. Let's move on. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. This is very easy, by the way. Additionally, you will also practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So there's a conversation. You, sorry, don't work too hard. No trabaje tan duro. Listen and practice. Uh, I need two volunteers, two ladies, dos chicas, okay? Two ladies to read this conversation, please. Cecia, okay, and who else? Two ladies, please. We have one. We need another. Karen Julissa. Okay. Cecia, you're Dr. Young. And Karen Julissa, you're Miss West. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. Not so good. So, what wrong exactly? I am exhausted. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later. I'm going to give you some pills. They go to meal every night after dining. After dinner. After dinner. Okay. Um, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. 
Oh, I sang, Dr. John. Okay, good. There you go. Imperatives. ¿Qué le dice Dr. John? I'm going to give you some pills. Te voy a dar unas pastillas, okay? Take one pill every night after dinner. Tómate o tómese una pastilla cada noche después de la cena. This is an imperative. Le está dando una instrucción o una orden. Una instrucción en este caso. And Miss West says, okay, and don't drink coffee, tea or soda. That's another instruction. Another instruction, sorry. Anything else? She says, yes, don't work too hard. No trabaje tan duro. Okay. Miss West says, all right, thanks, Dr. Young. And that's the grammar focus, imperatives. ¿Cómo se utilizan los imperatives? Es super, super fácil. Okay. Imperatives. You, in imperative form, you have affirmative and negative. Only that. Okay. We don't have question form in imperatives. Only affirmative and negative. So take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Como pueden ver acá, la forma afirmativa del imperative es nada más y únicamente el verbo en su forma base. Y eso es todo. No hay mayor ciencia, no hay formas eh, de tercera persona porque no se le puede dar una, una orden a una tercera persona, ¿verdad? O una instrucción a una tercera persona. Entonces, así es. Simple y sencillamente, si usted quiere decirle a alguien que haga algo, utilice, utilice el verbo en forma base. Y nada más. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. That's the imperative affirmative form. What is the negative form? Very easy. If you want to make the negative form, you say don't and the verb. Usted solo va a utilizar don't y luego el verbo en forma base. Y nada más. Don't work too hard. No trabaje tan duro. Don't stay up late. No se desvele. Don't drink soda. No tome gaseosa. Okay, that's it. Eso es todo lo que hay que saber sobre los imperatives. Forma afirmativa es el puro verbo. Forma negativa es don't y el puro verbo. Y nada más. Pero bueno, vamos a verlo en un poquito más de detalle. Imperatives. Te voy a pasar la captura ya antes que se me olvide. Ok. Okay, that's the first one. Imperatives. He says, come in. Pase. Okay. And she says, be careful. Tenga cuidado. Literalmente dice, sea cuidadosa. Okay, be careful. Don't fall. No se caiga. So we use come, look, be, etc. When we tell somebody to do something. Come here and look at this. By the way, this should also be an imperative, so, okay. Um, come here and look at this. I don't want to talk to you. Go away. No quiero hablar contigo, vete. He said, go away. I am not ready yet. Please wait for me. Aún no estoy listo. Por favor, espéreme. Please be quiet. I'm working. Usted se callado, estoy trabajando. Be quiet. I'm working. That's the imperative, affirmative form. Also, además, se puede ocupar have bastante con los imperatives. Pero, ¿cómo así? Have a good vacation. Quiere decir, tenga una buena vacación. O que tenga una buena vacación. Have a good trip. Que tenga buen viaje. Okay. Have a nice time. Que la pase bien. Have fun. Diviértase. Okay. So that's it. When you say have a good vacation, that means I hope you have a good vacation. Espero que tenga una buena vacación. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy the party. Enjoy. What's the meaning of enjoy? Enjoy means disfrutar. Enjoy your meal. Disfrute su comida. O como diríamos en El Salvador, buen provecho. Okay. Enjoy your meal. 
Enjoy the party. Disfrute la fiesta. Okay. Another example. You say, good night. Sleep well. Duerma bien. Sleep well. Have a chocolate. Esto cuando usted le está ofreciendo algo a alguien en especial comida, usted puede decir esto. Have a chocolate. Have a coffee. Le está ofreciendo eso. Tómese un café, tómese un chocolate. Have a chocolate, have a coffee, etc., etc. Oh, thanks. Now, look, we use don't when we tell somebody not to do something. This is the negative form, lo que ya mencionamos. Be careful. Don't fall. No te caigas. Okay? Please don't go. Hay una canción, ¿verdad? Please don't go. Okay, so you have, please don't go. Stay here with me. Stay here with me. So please don't go. Me recuerda una serie de Netflix de un psicópata. Please don't go. <laughs> Lo que ya vieron, ya saben. María Magdalena. Teacher, is correct uh, in your, your food? Yes, but not common. What? It's much, it, it's, it's okay, but it's not common. Está bien, pero no es común. The common form is enjoy your meal. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aquí hacemos una oración, entonces. <laughs> Después oración. decimos enjoy your food. Ah, okay. Bueno, de aquí en adelante lo pueden decir en inglés para ir practicando. Claro, lo dicen en inglés los jóvenes. Entonces eso, nosotros eso. les decimos en, en Georgia Food. Alguien vino y nos enseñó así. Uh -huh. Sí se puede decir, como le digo, pero no es tan común. Más común es decir enjoy your meal. Lo que Thank pasa es que teacher. meal por lo general se refiere al, al almuerzo, al desayuno y a la cena. Al desayuno, almuerzo y cena. Así que si es una comida aparte, entonces sí usted puede decir enjoy your food. Oh, enjoy your snack, también, ¿verdad? Yes, sí. Okay, so uh, the last one, be here on time, don't be late, okay? No llegue tarde, okay, don't be late. Exercise, we're going to do this exercise before we finish the class. Con eso casi que ya, casi que ya cubrimos toda la sección. No va a quedar solo un poquito para el lunes. Your turn, look at the pictures, what are the people saying using imperatives, affirmative or negative? But before that, I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp. Okay, let me see. Okay, take a look. What are the people saying? Use imperatives, affirmative or negative and use the verbs in the box. The verb be, buy, come, drink, drop, forget, have, sit, sleep, and smile. In the first one, they're knocking at the door. Tuck, 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 tuck. What does he say? ¿Qué dirá él? Ever. And then Cecia. Come in. Come in, okay. Come in, pase. Okay, come in. Pues ya saben, ¿verdad? Cuando llega un compañero de ustedes allá a buscarlos, a su cubículo, a su escritorio, toque la puerta, dígale en inglés, come in. I am practicing. Okay. Okay. Number two. Cecia, what do you have? Nothing. Okay. No problem. What about number two? Volunteers. Ebert. Sería drink. But if you see the lady, ¿será que le está alentando a beber el agua o a no beber el agua? Maybe Ever Enrique can help us. Ever? Don't drink the water. Don't drink the water. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Don't drink the water. Okay. Don't drink the water. It's dirty. Number three. Ever Enrique. 
is too expensive. Forget. Forget it. <laughs> it's too expensive. Forget it. Está muy caro. Olvídelo. Okay, I guess it's possible. It's possible, but um, there is another verb that is more appropriate. Okay, hay otro verbo que más apropiado. So, what is it? Cecilia. Don't buy it. Don't, don't buy it. Okay. Don't buy it. Mm -hmm. It's too expensive. Don't buy it. No lo compre. Okay, number four. Okay, are you ready? Volunteer, please. Recuerden, cuando ya concluya su participación, pueden bajar la manita para que no se me acumulen aquí en pantalla. <laughs> okay, number four. Who knows number four? He's taking a photograph. Okay, Cecia. Okay, are you ready? Smile. Smile. Okay, sorry. Okay, smile. Good. Thank you, Cecia. Number five. Ever Enrique. Don't sit on the cat. Don't sit on the cat. Okay. <laughs> Number six. Thank you, Heather. That is correct. Okay, number six. Cecia. Uh, bye. Have a nice time. Bye. Have a nice time. That is correct. Very good. Okay, number seven. Cecilia. Perdón, teacher. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Dice... Uh -huh. Es un imperativo, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Don't worry. No se preocupe. Uh -huh. uh, ay, ya me perdí. No me acuerdo. <laughs> okay. Who can help us? Number seven. Por estarse disculpando, se le fue la idea. Okay. Number seven, who can help me? Number seven, number seven, number seven, number seven, number seven. Please could tell me. Okay, don't worry. Um, again, please. Uh, B? B to call me. Mm, no, call. no, it's not B. Sorry. This is the most difficult one. Esta es la más difícil. Ever. Don't forget to call me. Don't forget to call me. Okay, don't worry. Okay. No te olvides de llamarme. Don't forget to call me. O no olvides llamarme. Okay, number eight. He says, I am going to bed now. She says. What does she say? Vamos, compañeros. Ya va a costar. ¿Qué le dice ella? Ever Enrique. Ok. You have sleep well. Muchas palabras. Sleep well. Ok, sleep well. Sleep well. Mm -hmm. Duerma bien. Ok, sleep well. Thank you. And the last one, number nine, you have two words right here. Uh -huh. Sleep well, number nine.
Ever Enrique. Be careful with that base. Is drug. Drop it. Drop it. Are you sure? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so what is the correct form? The last one. Be careful with that base. Tenga cuidado, ¿verdad? Sea cuidadoso. Be careful with that base. Con ese jarrón. So, what is the final instruction? Si usted dice drop it, le dice bótelo. Pero no, es lo contrario. ¿Ah, Ever Enrique? Don't, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Okay, that's right. No lo bote. Okay, don't drop it. Okay, that's it. That's the imperative form. I'm going to send this to you via WhatsApp too. Que tengan ahí el ejercicio. Okay. Um, it's eight and six, so we have to finish now. Okay, everybody. Uh, listen, I want you to study this. Si no han terminado, por favor, la sección terminenla. No se van a ir a acostar sin terminar eso. Van a perder su nota. Okay. Finish it. <laughs> okay. See you Monday. Take good care. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Antes que se me vayan, nada más. Corroborando acá está Carlos Edgardo. Carlos Edgardo. No se conectó hoy. Franklin de la O. I have a question, teacher. Yes. Hasta qué es, hasta qué este sección hay que llegar. La uno y la dos tiene que estar completa. Ah, perfecto. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Ok, Franklin de la O, creo que no se conectó. Oscar Susana. Oscar Susana tampoco se ha conectado. Santos Mauricio. Tampoco se nos conectó. Saúl Ernesto, ahí está. Ok. Hoy sí. Thank you very much. See you Monday. Thank you, teacher. Good Good evening. evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Have a nice weekend.